two and a half years ago, I became an unfortunate victim of an iCloud hack from an unknown source. But I was actually 18 in the videos. So the videos had been out there for five years and I wasn't aware because they hadn't been publicised yet. So I was really young in the videos with an ex-partner. And um, the moment I got told was a, a Saturday evening and my first response was to call 999 because I had no other clue what to do. To me, it was the biggest emergency in my life and, and uh, more than I could ever imagine. So what I found quite quickly was the police weren't able to help emotionally. They gave me promises and reassurances that they weren't, they shouldn't have at the time. They told me it wouldn't, it wouldn't become big. But within 24 hours, I was in national newspapers. I was in local newspapers. I was trending on um, the world's leading adult websites. And as just a, a normal girl from Glasgow that's been brought up in a council estate, um, I've never been exposed to the public eye and I was thrown in it in the most horrendous of ways and I didn't know how to deal with that so the only the, the first real um, support that I got was from the revenge porn helpline on the Monday and they were the the first people to give me the correct emotional and physical support in terms of advice and, and what we can do because I found myself educating the police on, on this by my findings on google and my own research and the trauma that that put me through I found myself for weeks and weeks fighting suicidal thoughts and I've never been an individual that that's ever suffered with mental health and it got to the point where I had planned how I was going to do it I was going to take my own life by a tree that was outside my window and I thought that that was the only answer for me because it was worldwide it was in whatsapp groups and in, in America and Mexico and India and it's it's really difficult when you, you're very much so on your own although the support around me was I had people like they came out like an army all my friends and family but no one can ever make you feel like you're not alone I was embarrassed I couldn't leave I couldn't leave the house the only thing that I wanted to do was was disappear because that seemed like the only real answer then um just completely lost control and still to this this day I've had to I've had um, months and months of counselling and now I've got a permanent life coach to help me support and accept that that's out there and a big part of my healing now is is speaking out because when I was googling this when it happened there was no blogs from victims that it happened to I didn't know that the thoughts that I was having was was normal but every, I guess the only way I can describe it is, is death every, everyone knows there's a process to death and, um, and it's grief and you get angry you can't accept it um, you become upset, you have thoughts, but we're all aware of that process. It doesn't make it easy. But when it comes to this, it's very, very similar. But it's just no one speaks about it because the easiest thing for, for us all to do as victims is never speak about it again. But I just had something in my, my belly quite early on that I felt that I'm going, to, I'm going to be part of a change. This can't happen to my niece and nephew in the future. And the Revenge Porn Helpline was the only people that were on the same level in terms of that they, they wanted to support, it was genuine. I wasn't um, an inconvenience. The, their tone with me was so important. Um, and I had spent thousands of pounds myself to do it privately. And the Revenge Porn Helpline was the middleman. I didn't know at the time, but my the company that I had paid was actually using the Revenge Porn Helpline. Um, but obviously at the time I didn't know, but um, life is, is great now because I'm speaking out and because I'm fighting it but when you speak out you relive it all over again I get trolling every single day because of it and um, it, it it recirculates every couple of months but I'm now in a place where I take so much courage and and, and power from that that I'm, I'm going to make an impact and you know what it's out there and there's nothing I can do about it but I'm representing a lot of people who don't have the strength or don't have the platform to be able to speak out and I get why they don't want to speak out but we're also representing those people that that, that did make the decision to take their own lives because it, it's not just tough for you it's so tough for your family and friends to go through it too they they go through it just as much as you do because they're so worried that you don't wake up in the morning they're so worried about how you are that they they feel exactly the same as you they're traumatized and I think until until the day I die I will always fight this and I'll always be be supporting all the amazing charities like the Revenge Porn Helpline that were there for me when when everyone else let me down the people that I thought could have and should have helped and 
it wasn't out of the want of these officers not wanting to try, but they just didn't have the resources or the education or the knowledge. But I ended up having to give up football for a year and I've, all, I've always had football since six years old. So for me, I have to make that decision because clubs turned me down because my poor reputation that I was attached to because it was it was sex and it was out there for the world to see. I, I lost the, the one love that I've always had in life. Um, but I'm so happy to say that I'm now back and I've got a fantastic club that support me and know the full story. But I'm just so grateful to to the amazing women at the Revenge Porn Helpline for, for supporting me when no one else could. Um, and I'll forever be grateful for that. But I've now learned that we all go through terrible times in life, but you will be OK. And I think the movement that's happening, this call, I think it shows you that, that it's only going in one direction. And no matter how long it takes, we'll get there.